Hello friends and welcome back to Harstam Staran Adventure. Today we're going to be starting out <coughs> in a TVP here against a feller called Priestly Wack. Uh, never heard of him, but he's a 5.7k Protoss player apparently. So that's a pretty decent level. At least it's a higher level than I'm playing at. So um, it's going to be tricky. We'll start with a fake proxy here. So we get our first barracks just yeah, let's just get it in our natural actually why not i mean why not might as well right don't think my opponent is going to end up scouting here and we'll follow this up with just a double gas at home as well and uh the double gas is just going to allow us to um, get ga get the uh, well, obviously get gas very quick but also allows us to get the the tech pretty quickly and that's really what we're uh, going in for here this is a good map for proxies usually <coughs> i'd probably just actually make a real proxy but I forgot to send out my worker on time. So I, I really enjoy proxying on this map. You can build it over here. It's a good location, difficult to spot, yet very close to the main base. But there's a, a couple of things on this map that make it good. Also, the distance of flying back home is pretty short. So that is generally also useful. Okay, so there's nothing here yet. Now we're just going to get that factory at home as well. We rally a worker over here. I hope he doesn't scout in my natural, right? Very nice even. I'm just keeping this SEV here for now. No, I'm not. I'm gonna go back up. I hope he doesn't spot me. If he spots me, that would be really bad for me. If he doesn't spot me, however, then life is good for me. Looks like life is good for me. Absolutely perfect. So, I could go for a double Reaper, but I could also just straight away follow this up with a Reactor. And that's actually what I'm going to be doing here. No, I'm going double Reaper. I lied. <laughs> I switched my opponent. My opinion. I switched my opinion there in the last second. What I wanted to do, my my plan. Not usually it's not a good sign, but this time I think it's completely fine. Send this worker down as well. Okay, get one worker for free. Very good. He was scouting around for any potential proxies, but the only proxy there currently is is the proxy that is living rent free in my opponent's head. Because in reality, hello, what's this guy doing? Oh my god, you're super bothering me right now. Um, oh my god, what's happening? No, 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 no. That is not good. Okay, well, this was actually pretty mediocre. It all went wrong when one of the SEVs that I didn't want to be down went down, and the one that I did want to be down wasn't down. So it was a complete mess over here. Some miss hotkeying going on, that's for sure. We did already kill two workers, though, so that is kind of nice. Um... On the other hand, I'm not entirely sure what that's going to be doing for us over here. Oh my god. I think I'm actually going to lose this, am I not? Oh. I think that was good for me. He did not really kill anything. He really did not kill anything. Um... Like one Reaper total, lost this uh, adapter in the end. Really need to keep this uh, this bad boy alive on the low ground. I think I'll need a third gas as well over here. Going to get repairing on my Hellion currently. I think that's going to help. Double worker repairing my Hellion. That definitely is going to end up helping. I don't really have that much money though. Maybe I shouldn't have done it, but whatever. I want to figure out what my opponent is playing, like what type of opener that is. Because um, right now I'm not so sure. I don't think I actually needed this extra gas. Look, I'm lacking minerals more than gas at this moment. It's not good. <laughs> it's not good. Maybe it will come into use later if I want a quick, uh, quick something else. Oh, come on. I know he wants to use his uh, pulsar beam, yeah. Everybody. I know yeah. you can just feel it sometimes, you know, and the other guy wants to use the pulsar beam. Like ready to just uh, magically damage your reaper. And I don't really care too much. The only thing I wanted to do with that reaper at this point is figure out what my opponent's deck is. And he showed me that he had an oracle and also that he had a phoenix as a follow-up. So this is actually dream scenario. I think I want to follow this up properly with like uh, bio as well for once rather than going into mech. Mech is so crap, I don't really want to be caught playing that. Even if I was dead, I wouldn't want to be caught playing that. Oh, it's important that he does not scout what I'm doing. I also want to see if there's a third base or not. 
actually somewhat important. Do I want to continue my battle cruiser production? No, I think I'm just going to stick with one actually. Not enough minerals. I think there should be plenty. I want to say that I probably should be keeping this cyclone at home. Yes, I think it is. That is very useful. In that case, I'm not going to keep the cyclone at home. I did not think he was going to have that. Honest to God. Okay, this is good. Let's just blink into his main base, huh? There we go. Double forge! Are you mental, mate? Up. No, shot this guy. Oh, he's just gonna lose every single worker. I don't need to actually move across the map in that case, do I? If your plan is to lose every single worker, that's a plan that I'm kind of down with. Oh, also every single stalker. Also a plan I'm down with. Does he have blink or something? Or oh, he's recalling right now. Probably does have blink, huh? Maybe these are just regular stalkers without blink? Also possible. He's super dead. Okay, he does have blink. I'm going to lose this. So I might as well try to kill as much as I can here. So I'll go for two more workers. Oh, this was beautiful. This was actually beautiful. Uh, you guys go downstairs. Look how many uh, workers I have, by the way. It's not super what I wanted. But it will do the trick, I think, for now. Going to have to... Yeah, yeah, come on, blink up. I dare you, buddy. Blink upstairs. Blink up... He's not going to blink upstairs. He'd have to be absolutely mental to blink upstairs at this point. Um, like he's, he's looking for something. Oh, I did not know that this was a possibility. Okay, this was... Okay, I had never seen this in my life. Okay, I'm gonna be real. I did not think that this would work out at all. I did not think that this was gonna work out whatsoever. Um, I actually want to very soon get... Um, get a move out going but i don't think that's going to be even remotely possible did i oh i ended up losing my uh, raven there to a couple of these phoenixes i feel very bad all of a sudden about this game so we get the cc on the low ground we immediately send our units there as well I think we're ahead. I also do believe that my opponent is a little bit better than I am. So that means that the longer this game will go, the worse it's going to get for me. So ideally I would be finishing the game, but I'm stuck here building freaking tanks on three bases. So I think his actual setup... Oh, he still doesn't have gases here. Okay, never mind, maybe. Okay, that might be... Okay, this is a little bit better than I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be really dead already, but this actually seems somewhat like there's, you know, I have a lot. Look how many uh, mules I have available. I'm mining like a madman right now. Okay, you go over here. I'm actually wanting to move out as well at some point. So this is not just an army that wants to sit at home, you know, I have a lot of tanks. I know that my opponent is planning on moving out. Um, because he has a Templar Archives, and it's obvious to me that he can't survive, but I also want to move out. Because I'm afraid of the late game against better players than me. So I, <laughs> I want to quickly end this one. However, I do have a this one already, so I could technically just go into well, a lot of different things. I'm just making sure I'm not walking into Stasis Wars. I know there's going to be a couple out here. And it's scaring the crap out of me, honestly. Okay. It's a big army that he has. Don't get me wrong. Like it's an it's a nice army as well. It's just I think my army is bigger and nicer. Um, and you know that I'm not biased at all because I'm a Protoss player. Okay. If he attacks into this, that would be a colossal mistake. There's absolutely huge error over here. I would not recommend him attacking into me. I have so many tanks set up. Um, 
Oh, yeah, sensor tower as well. We almost have ghost available on top of that. Okay, we're actually going to start kind of leapfrogging across the map right now. There it is. It's not something I usually say you should do, but... On a map this small? Oh my god, he's actually coming for me? Where's my ghost? Where's my ghost? Him attacking at that moment was actually quite good for him, I think. Because he got a lot of my units here. Like, a lot of them. We only have one ghost remaining as well, and we lost a crap ton of our tanks. And it was before 2-2 was finished as well, so... Really, there's like four or five things that went wrong there in a very small amount of time. Okay, you're going to be sitting over here. Do have 2-2 at this point? I think he attacked me with 2-2 as well, no? Wouldn't completely surprise me. It's getting storm or what? Doesn't seem to be the case. Does not seem to be the case. Oh, come on. Liberator's in position. Target down the correct units. I think we got him. I think we got him. That, I, I did a little too much damage. I mean, I should have won this game way faster, I think. But at least, yeah, we're all good. We are all good here, my friends. No, wrong one. Oh, do we, do we need to be a little bit careful still? Actually, should just F2. This is the one thing that I, I have to admit here, is that... I just don't F2 enough. And as a Terran, it's actually somewhat important at times. So. so yeah, these should have been here a little bit faster, I guess. Armed and ready. Whoa, 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 whoa. We can move forward here right now even? No, we don't really need to. We can just stay very, very close to the cover of our tanks. We'll actually get another starport as well. I mean, why not? I'll move this tank slightly forward. It's going to allow us to cover this entire area, which is important. He's just continuing to stay in, huh? I don't like that. Makes me feel incompetent. I want to be able to finish this game here. I mean, I'm definitely capable of finishing this game. Who am I kidding? Okay, here we go. Hoppa! There we go, beauty. Sometimes I'm just too afraid of Colossi for some reason, but there's really no reason to be so afraid, because Colossi are actually quite bad if you have a lot of Marauders. As we just saw over here, he's trying to continuously move forward. I have more stuff on the way. Where's my starport? It's here. Hey, this game is super over right now. He's, this is a little bit of copium, you know? Just coping with the fact that he's lost to me. At least the game. Hey, that initial battlecruiser deals so much damage. And from that point on, it's just going to be impossible for him. At least in my mind, to come back into the game. We got a quick 32 points. 5.4k back uh, back where I kind of belong. I want to be going to the 150. And maybe eventually 100. The top 100 is, of course, the, the end goal. The end of the season would be ideal. And hopefully I'll get there. And we'll hop into uh, game number two immediately. Because we actually immediately found the game as well. So that's good. See if we can do something here. Adjutant. Okay. I think this also is the... I, I don't think it's pronounced adjutant. I don't think this is how you spell the, the exact word. Adjutant. I don't know how to spell it. Doesn't matter. It, that's also what this... Uh, the, the, this person's portrait is. This Terran player. All right, what are we getting here? Mm. Oh. Maybe a two gas opener. I once asked Clem for a replay on how to win TVT and Clem gave me a build order. And I think I went 07 with the build when he gave it to me. And then afterwards I started winning a little bit, but I kind of want to try it again. See if there's anything there or no, there's no ore actually. There's there's no ore here. This is the the only thing here. I actually I could open up with a battle cruiser. I've seen special do that on this map. Proxy's like a starport over here, flies in the battle cruiser and then teleports it home. 
Because in TVT it's actually impossible to play Battle Cruiser from ho from home because you can't blink in because of how cyclones work. You always need to blink out, which means you're forced to fly across the map, and flying across the map really freaking sucks, um, usually. So uh, you just want to proxy it as close as to the terrain as possible. So I think this is a sick location. No shot that this guy is going to be scouting anything whatsoever. Do I want a factory next to my thing here? I think so. Just get it right over here. That looks beautiful. That actually does look very nice. I always hate it when that happens. Sometimes I'm so busy stacking my workers. You feel good about yourself. It's like, oh, I'm getting those three extra minerals with these great stacks. And then you select your entire mineral line. And you click it next to a mineral patch. Not even on top of it, but just right next to a mineral patch. And you know that in that moment, you absolutely undone all the work of the past 55 games of worker stacking. Like the, the minor advantage that you get from the worker stacking. Now, you know, in this one game, you probably just lost the game because you're a complete idiot. It really is quite painful. It, it, it really is. Actually, very painful. I don't think I actually need that fast of a... Um, what do you call it? I don't think I need that fast of a uh, starport with this because I can't actually afford anything. That's a mistake that I often make. So I'll get a fast proxy starport and realize you don't actually have money for anything. It's the, the way of the world, I guess. I think you can afford it all, but you can't. At the end of the month, nothing left. Uh -huh. Live ain't easy. Okay, here we go. Tech lap on this bad boy. Could have probably gone for a mine for slightly more safety. That's actually what Clem told me to do. You're not taking any minerals to the grave. This is one of the weirdest things, is that these mules, they mine the minerals, and if the mule explodes while it has the minerals in the mouth, then these minerals are nowhere to be found. You can't even find them on the floor anymore. They're just freaking gone. It's ridiculous. This is something that doesn't get discussed enough, in my opinion. If I was a Terran player, this is what I would be whining about. Rather than complaining about disruptors or something. Like, like where do these minerals go? You know, lore-wise, this doesn't make any sense whatsoever. But do they just eat them when they die? No, of course not. That's not possible. That's stupid. I remember back in the day, the balance team always had to uh, patch things that were lore accurate. Or, well, not lore accurate, but like messing with armor types and stuff wasn't really allowed because it messed too much with... I can't actually remember what it was. So there were some things there. Let's explain it. I feel like it would be fun to talk to some of the guys from the old balance squad, like David Kim or... Um, what do you call it? Like Monk or something like that? Skippy? Skip? You just called, I think. Pretty cool. cool. Pretty cool dudes all. Just uh, want to hear how it was from their side, you know? How, the, how balance was created and what type of stupid stuff they had to deal with. David Kim actually told me he got a very small amount of hate. Um, although it was pretty easy to reach him. He said... He, he, it was very little because he told us about like a single email that he got once. He was like, yeah, I just think I just got one email once. Of course, he might have been underselling it. He was getting like daily hate letters by some people. David Kim really got it bad at the start of StarCraft 2, I think. Like people really, you know, they they saw an enemy. Like they picked an enemy really early and they stuck with that enemy for an extremely long time. People really disliked David Kim. They really thought he was completely solely responsible for balance but that was not the case like multiple people and even if he was he got some nasty stuff on you know people are, people are mean about a video game's balance it's actually crazy how mean people get. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. okay i'm going to send this battle cruiser over here oh <laughs> i'm so fast out of my game my friend okay these are going to go in towards the main base Yes, Commander. Let's go. Ready. I think I can actually clear this thing. Oh, okay. oh that's that. You need to do it fast, otherwise he'll put a disable on top of you and you might actually lose the game.
these really should have been uh, timed out properly. If I would have done them at exactly the same time, actually would have been quite powerful, I think. Now it's honestly a lot less powerful. I want to see if he's playing mech or not. I'm not quite sure yet how I'm going to figure that out. Do I need to cut more tanks? I don't I, Maybe. Maybe I do, actually. Here we go. Command center. Come on, buddy. This actually feels pretty darn good. Because now he's forced to go back home, probably, now. Does he think he can take me out? No shot. Oh my god, you're out! Adios, Mr. Adjutant. I think that's in range now. Yeah, that is in range. Why can't I shoot it? Hello? Oh, he passed. Forgets the GG. Happens to the best, of course. Are battle cruisers the future? My future, at least. Or are they just accidentally winning games? I'm not sure. Feels like my win rate with these battle cruiser builds is ridiculously high. And I really do like that. It feels good to play it as well. It just feels right. I think the moment as a Terran you build a battle cruiser, life just feels a little bit better. Imagine Protoss building a carrier for like a one carrier rush to go harass some workers or something. That'd be really sick. It'd probably be possible if we get the carrier blink. Like, or teleport. Give a Brutalord teleport. He teleport across the map. You fly them in on one side. Teleport them to the exact other side. I think that would be really funny. But also extremely broken, probably. Usually things that instantly teleport to the other side of the map is not really fair. Just like with the mothership. That feels like an, an unfair mechanic, honestly. It really does. I do not like that. Not a not player. Not enough yeah. minerals. Not enough minerals. No one likes these guys. Not enough minerals. I don't think I've ever met someone that likes TVT. Not enough if Terran say that they like TVT, they're just saying that to cover for themselves. You know what I mean? Like they're, they're they're saying it so because they don't want to admit that their mirror matchup against the other weak race is their worst one. So they always say that their TVP or their TVZ is their worst. Almost every turn that I speak to absolutely hates TVT. It's true. Don't tell them that I was the one who told you guys, but it's one of the many Terran secrets. Once you get 5k MMR, they'll tell you that they sent you like a PDF with like how to behave as a Terran player. It's pretty crazy. They have a strict rule set on how to behave and like what fights to pick. It's not a PDF, it's like a, a Google Docs, so they can change it. You know, so without people having to download a new PDF file, because that stuff is pretty difficult. So you, you just get access to the Google Docs. And then there's like a couple of guys in charge at the very top that can change what's in the Google Docs. And it's like, all right, today we're complaining about Protoss. And the main agenda we're pushing is the Disruptor or the, the Blink Dark Templar. And I'll see it. And I already know, you know, I'm tuning into some Terran streams and I hear these guys go, wah, 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 wah. the Disruptor. I'm like, oh, you read the Google Doc. It's actually how it works. Not many people know this though, but it's uh, yeah, it's a, that's a trade secret right there. One of my many trade secrets that I'm going to be sharing during this game while I'm proxy battle cruisering again. This also is probably the last time I'm allowed to do it because after this, I already know a bunch of these Terrans around my level. They all watch my Terran videos and they have a great level how I die to like a Protoss Void Ray all in. So they'll be watching this and next time I'm playing against them, you already know that they're not going to be dying anymore. You know, they'll be scouting the map for my proxy starboard. So my friends, do not worry. It won't be there if you scout next week. It's gone. It's absolutely gone. You have no chance. Mm, I actually need, uh, need a command center downstairs, don't I? I really do. I really do need a command center downstairs. Downstairs. That feels fast. Oh, I already had one. Why is this guy here? Not enough, I forgot that I already had a Reaper and I just randomly rallied it on the map. I was so into my own story. That's an issue as well, being so into your own story that you forget that you already sent a Reaper out on the map. That's not good. Because this should technically should allow him to go again, no? He just damaged me. I hope there's a Hellion coming out, so maybe he can. 
These Terrans, they know their timings way better than I do. I just kind of randomly do stuff. Whenever I feel like it, I just go in and boom. Probably want this gas. At least trying to start getting that gas now. Am I supposed to get a, a cyclone first? I think so. I feel like I'm lacking a massive amount of gas here. Something must have gone wrong. I think I'm supposed to keep two in gas or something like that. It, this doesn't feel correct. I regret everything I've done so far in this game. Every single thing. Except for this. Killing this little lava monster. That felt good. But everything else I regret. Except the lava monster. Now, if you're the lava monster's family. And you want to get retaliation. Tough luck. You'll never figure out where I live, you idiots. Also killed the cleaning bot. There's another one in my main base. Oh, he's jumping into my main base. The only reason I was in position here is because I wanted to clear the cleaning bolt. And people say there's no point in cleaning these things up. No, my friends. Oh my god, this is some terrible focus fire. Come on, kill. Mm. Honestly, not bad, no? Oh, I need a tech lab. I really do need that fast. Do you think he'll figure out what it is? How many Reapers was that? Like five? Who gets five Reapers? That's somewhat suspicious. I almost want to say something about it. Hey, bro, that's not okay. But he probably knows that it's not okay. You know, I don't want to rub it in. Especially not after I killed all of his Reapers because I was trying to chase a cleaning bot. Cleaning bot stayed alive. Now he's gone. Wasn't long for his world. Not enough minerals. Tough luck, brother. Maybe in another Not lifetime. You go over here. Some more refineries. I feel pretty good about my life again. 64 seconds. Terran really needs chrono boost. That way these battle cruisers wouldn't take forever to get out of their stupid starport. <laughs> good lord. 64 seconds. <laughs> That is very, very long for a unit. Feels like the same time as a mothership after I chrono boosted three times. How long is a mothership actually? I never know this type of thing. I feel like you could highly embarrass everyone in the world, especially pro gamers, by asking them this type of question. How many seconds is this? How many minutes does this take? No, no. Like, you know, some of the basic units, you know, and a lot of the Terran units from the factory, I know, because it's important. And also the the, bar the barracks units. I wouldn't have known Ghost though, or Marauder. Now I know it. 21 and 29, I think it is. Oh, I want to kill that, I think. He's playing something weird. If I kill that, that would be really good, wouldn't it? Oh, he's doing some, some drop in it. <laughs> I don't think you're gonna get me, are you, mate? Very unfortunate, my friend. I think we're winning. Like, a pretty big way as well. I love having this dude in the main base. The tank. I think that's already a good call. Really do believe it. Once again, going to get supply blocked here, by the way. Are battle cruisers actually imbalanced? That's the question that I need to ask. Ooh, almost got him. You think he's going to try to turn around and fight me a little more? I mean, he must know that this game is technically over. Look at that. Come on, die! He's at third base already. Where's the other one? Here we go. Okay, maybe the game isn't as over as I thought. I thought I had him completely, honestly. I was ready to start bad mannering, you know? Telling him to go. Like, time to leave, brother. Mistakes were made. Should I finish? Well, I mean, it's not gonna finish, so it's a stupid question. It's a very stupid question. Um, I do need this though. 
Do we get two? Do we get three? No, we'll just get one. Two of these, though. I feel kind of afraid right now. I often feel afraid. Not just about StarCraft 2. I always keep my camera on. Um, so I can see if someone is behind me or not. I hate being with my back to the door. I've been doing this for years now. I don't think I'd be able to do anything else. I'm not even sure who would want to enter this room. But in case it ever... Oh crap, he's very in position and I'm very out of position. Am I not? Ooh, actually, maybe he's the one out of position. Did I just really shoot that low HP Viking? I think I accidentally did. Come on, die! More Vikings is going to be kind of a necessity here, honestly. He's the moment I see him move forward, like he realizes I'm going to absolutely blast him. Am I in range of this? Yeah. yeah. He's going to land, huh? Yeah. Kill stuff, kill stuff. Ah! Am I winning? No, I don't think so. I should have had my BCs in production, or production, in position for that attack. I knew he was going to land his Vikings. If I would have been there with my... Uh, with the correct units in time, he probably has a forward base. Oh my god. Okay, he definitely has a forward base. That was a relatively uh, conservative guess out of me. You could use a forward base. This guy probably, this is fifth. No, no, it's not. Dang it, I just wasted a lot of scans for no real reason. Uh, that was a bit much. Should I just try to go across the map and kill him? No, no, no. I wanted uh, depots, nothing else. I still had a tank here as well. That could have been useful. How many Vikings do you have, buddy? I guess we're not moving out anytime soon, huh? I thought maybe I can sneakily move out. And he won't notice, you know? But that didn't really work. I think this is good. That feels good, at least. You think he can actually do that? This type of rotation? No shot, right? I don't think there's any shot here that he's doing that. This was good. This was really good. I have way more Vikings as well. Oh, no, 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 no. Feels good, no? Insufficient Vespine gas. Not enough energy. 
Insufficient best being gas. I always feel afraid. I wonder if that's just me or everyone that plays Mac. Maybe I want some uh, some liberators, huh? I think we can actually snipe some. Oh, what did he? What did he just shoot? What was there? What did you just kill? What? That scared the crap out of me, honestly. To get some cyclones out as well. I think actually I might be in position here. I think I'm outranging that now. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, not entirely what I thought would happen, but also not the end of the world now. Do I just hold position these guys or what? Oh, oh, oh. This is a stupid game. I think I killed everything, huh? I want to be closer in range of this building. I think I'm, yeah, I'm being out of range right now, which sucks. I'm not a huge fan of this whatsoever. I think I'm winning. Uh, Maybe winning is a big turn that I shouldn't have used. I wonder if he has uh, this base. He doesn't. And he doesn't have this base. Which probably means that I'm currently outmining him. Hey, what are you doing here? Oh, he has a starport in that area. So that means he probably has a base here, right? Yeah. Oh, he has multiple starports in this area. No, no, no. Oh, no. Yeah, that's bad for him. That's real bad for him. I think he's dead now. Oh, no, no, no. I'm the one that's dead. Am I winning? I don't think he has vision anymore. What are these guys doing in my main? I have no clue. Let's get them out of here. Quickly. I have no clue where he is. I'm just going to go pure air at this point. Die. No, 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 no. No, yes? I don't know if I'm winning or losing. I think I'm dead, but... Not enough. 
I could also still be alive. It's going to be real close. That's all I know. If I can maybe sneak in here, that would be huge. Okay, he doesn't have a base mining here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, three units. Three units. Oh, no. Does he still have one Viking? He still has one Viking remaining. If I can clear this Viking somehow, which I can, because I can send these guys back, and I get one dude out. He's, he's going to go. Where's that Viking? Where's your Viking, buddy? I see you. He's going to unseize everything. He'll be forced to. No, I forgot to br bring these back home. This is the dumbest game I've played in my life. He should not be attacking me right now, should he? Should he? I think he can, actually. We're gonna keep this one alive. I would. I don't want him to figure out whether I have this base or not. That's actually somewhat important. Because if he realizes I don't have this base, he might just stay at home. Maybe I should get that base. Okay, he's scanned. I forgot about that. That that was an option as well. <sighs> okay, I was really dead. I did not realize he had 61 workers. Why can't I see his vision? Oh, here we go. Oh, he had this base mining. With 30 workers, yeah. Okay, I was pretty dead. I did not realize how dead I was. But he, um, yeah. Ah. It was close, though. Look at that army value that I had. I had a lot of army value. All right. That's going to be it for today's episode of Hearthstone Stern Adventure. I hope you did enjoy it. Uh, if you did, don't forget to like, button, subscribe to the channel. Hopefully, I'll see all of you next time for a new video. Thank you, and bye-bye.